What's up, guys? Unfazed Gaming back again with another GTA Online glitch video for the second time today. Now, this is a solo method for getting the Elegy Retro inside your special vehicle warehouse. I know I've done hundreds of these videos and it's only changed very slightly since the last one, but here we go anyway. This is solo. If you're on Xbox or PC, you need to do this first step. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to story mode, as you can see here. You're going to press the pause menu. You're going to go across to settings and you just need to check your targeting mode. Now, my advice is to put it into free aim, as most people play in assisted aim. So once you've done that, you need to go online. And I do recommend a public session for this. You can use it invite only, but I've had more success in a public session with this one. So as you can see there, I've gone into a public session. Now, this, like I say, is a solo method of getting a special vehicle, well, an LG Retro inside a special vehicle warehouse. If you don't know why you need one in there, then, you know, you've been living under a rock. All the duplication glitches these days require an LG Retro custom inside a special vehicle warehouse, unless you want to wait for that mechanic cooldown timer. So it's highly recommended that you have one in there, even if you put one in there now and don't use it for another two or three weeks because when another glitch comes out, that's fine. You've at least got one in there now ready. So like I say, it is completely solo. You are going to need a facility, obviously. You are going to need a special vehicle, obviously. Um, other than that, you don't need anything else. Now... Let's get into the glitch then. So for this first part, you can use a street vehicle, you can use a personal vehicle. It really doesn't matter. In this case, I've already got my Batty 801 out on the map, so I'm going to be using that. But like I say, it does not matter what vehicle you use for this first part. So once you get into your session, you're going to jump into a vehicle and you literally just need to go up to the yellow circle. Now, you don't want to drive into the yellow circle just yet. You, and for this one, your facility does need to be full. So make sure that your facility is full and make sure you've got the vehicle you want in your special vehicle warehouse stored inside your facility. So you're going to pull up just before the yellow circle. You're going to bring up your friends list. You're going to join your friend who's in a different targeting mode. Now, as soon as you press join game on him, you need to quickly drive into the yellow circle. Now you need to accept the facility full alert and then once you've accepted the facility full alert it will start taking you inside the facility now you'll see in the bottom corner getting session details and then it will come up with this alert saying join new session so you're going to accept that alert and then you're going to wait on the second alert for the targeting mode until the lift has gone all the way down now you'll hear it in the background once you hit the bottom of the lift you need to deny the alert so you need to press b a circle if you're on ps4 now as soon as you deny the alert you're going to get this weird glitched out screen at this point you want to press y or triangle on ps4 and you'll end up just falling out the sky and you'll be underneath the doors of your facility so at this point you just want to start jumping to try and get out and that's what will happen now that's the first part of the glitch done so at this point now you need to go off and you need to find yourself another streetcar. Now, for this method, the solo method, I do recommend trying to find quite a big bulky car. I struck it lucky here with the first one that came along. It's quite a big one. So what you're going to do is you're going to bring up your interaction menu and we're going to do the jump, the one that's been a part of the glitches for a while now. So the idea is to drive off the edge, and I'm going to slow it down here, drive off the edge and back out of your interaction menu as you're in mid-air. Now, wait till you've stopped and you're going to accept the alert. And if you can drive around, that's it. You're good to go. If you can't drive around and it sucks you into the facility, then you've landed too close to the facility. You need to try again. Anyway, at this point, you're going to call out your special vehicle. So I'm going to be using the Rocket Baltic. Now, I was a bit unfortunate here because it spawned quite far from my facility. Sometimes you can get lucky. If you don't look at your facility doors, usually it spawns behind you, somewhere just in front of the facility. But mine spawned all the way down here. So I'm going to speed up this footage now, because you've got to knock it into place. It needs to be quite close to the facility 
entrance where the yellow circle is. So it doesn't have to be perfect. And if you have got a friend online, then you can use a different method or you can get your friend to drive your special vehicle to the circle just to make it a lot easier. Uh, like I say, this is a solo method. So if you don't have any friends online, you can still do this. But uh, I just thought I'd put this solo method out there because I know everyone likes a solo glitch. Anyway, as you can see, it's near enough there. I'm just going to give it one last shove and I'm going to get sucked inside the facility, I think, because I'm close enough. Yeah, there we go. So once you get sucked inside the facility with the streetcar, it's going to take you down the lift and it's going to ask you to replace a vehicle. Now, as always with this glitches, you are going to back out by pressing B because you do not want to replace a vehicle. And then you're going to accept the alert saying the vehicle will be lost. So you're going to go to your yellow circle to exit the facility. Now, you're going to exit facility and while you're going up the lift, you're going to keep spamming Y. Now, I'm going to slow this bit down for you so you can see exactly what happens. So while she's spamming Y, it'll start walking towards the special vehicle. Now, as he gets in, an alert should pop up saying the facility is full. Now, you need to wait and listen for the engine to start on the special vehicle. Now, in this case, it's a Voltic, so it doesn't have an engine, so I just had to guess. Accept the alert anyway, and drive it on top of the facility doors, because obviously you can't enter with it. Now, it will disappear. All you need to do is walk into the yellow circle and go back inside the facility. Now, this time, when you go inside the facility, it's going to give you the option to replace a vehicle again. Now, this time, the vehicle you want to select is the one that you want inside your special vehicle warehouse. So this is a wonderful way to get planes or anything like that. See, I could choose a laser there if I wanted to, but I'm going to select this LG Retro Custom. And as you can see in front of me up there, the Rocket Voltic has just appeared, which means they have swapped places. Now, I would go and show you properly, but this stupid big laser is in the way. But as you can see in there, there is a Rocket Voltic in there. So... What we're going to do now is we're just going to run back outside and I'm just going to show you that the elegy is inside the vehicle warehouse. Now, as I've just said, you can use this to put anything you want inside the vehicle warehouse. Use the other methods, the gift cards to friends glitches, anything like that. You can combine all the glitches if you want together to get anything anywhere. So I highly recommend using a friend for this because it makes it a lot easier. Your friend can park up any aircraft or anything you want outside the special vehicle warehouse and you just drive it in but as i said guys i've just called up the rocket voltic there from the interaction menu and this retro customs turned up i've just zoomed in on the plate there because you do need to have custom plates on this retro custom if you are going to be duplicating it so make sure before you put it in the vehicle warehouse it does have custom plates on it anyway guys i just wanted to keep this video short nice simple solo version to get a retro custom in the warehouse if you like the video, stick a like on it. And if you haven't already, remember to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.